Sun's out, sun's out. to the first ever Australian Mogul Skiing Academy news update. Uh, my name is Joshua Himbury and I'm here today with Jake Ashton and Sophie Ash and we're going to be doing a quick recap of the 2015 US freestyle selections. Over to you guys. Hi, my name is Sophie Ash and I'm from the Mogul Skiing Academy. The course ambush was the perfect course to start the competition season on with 225 metres of moguls and jumps to play on. There were 64 girls and 64 boys from all over the world competing, including Bermuda, China, America, Australia and many others. It was the competition pretty, uh, pretty strong. We've got some uh, people that are qualified for World Cup and are also skiing World Cup in here, so pretty strong field. Um, we've also got a lot of noise here, so it's a fun, fun comp, so good. I love to compete in selections, as the standard of skiing is always really high. There are World Cup skiers such as Sophia Schwartz, Taylor O'Neill, Rowan Chapman Davies and Troy Tully and many others who I get to train alongside, maybe even Jewel if I'm lucky. This year the team was much more prepared than in previous years. The course on Ambush was up a few days earlier and I think that always helps to improve the skiing. The competition vibe was awesome, as it always is. As we skied, Bruce Perry Sr. commentated our every move and the crowd at the bottom was great, as usual. Oh, time. Ah, ah, time, time, time. Nice. You got that, that for at least 22 seconds. So far, I think, geez. You got that. Everyone does it. Um, no? Australian's very vocal. Um, yeah, you can tell it's us. We're the one in black as well, so don't come near us. Day one, Emerson Smith from Vale and Shakara Anthony from Australia both took the win. Shakara, known by her friends as Criminal because her name is No Walk in the Park, got an awesome score of 79.11 and Emerson 85.83 from the girls Jalen Cox stole the second place with a 77.97 and Olivia Giaccio from Old Steamboat with a score of 75.15 came in third. I won today. <laughs> Jakara has the open bar and heads Australia. I qualified in 15th and then made it into the super final and ended up first. <laughs> A pretty good day. Plan for the next day? Same thing again, I guess. <laughs> What's that? Win. <laughs> and the men. Troy Tully from Wasatch skied into second with an 85.54. But we can't forget our Aussie favourite, Rowan Chapman Davies. He scored an 85.19, ending up in third. Uh, it went pretty well. It was a bit out of the gate, early start. So I feel like I won training, so I qualified first in qualifications. Into the final, final one, I qualified first again into the super final and then put down another run and got a third, finished the third in three times. The standard of competition today is really high. We have a lot of good skiers here. Uh, I think the podium for test made that, but also like the super final and some sick guys in there. And then the final in general, there's a lot of, lot of sick skiers. Day two, another day, another run. An all American winner was on day two. Jalen Koff and Joey Disco both took out first place. Jalen from Steamboat reached a score of 82.98 and Mr. Disco scored an 87.58. Yes, Jakara, welcome back to the Podium Club. With a flawless ski out, she came in second with a score of 80.67 and in third, Nessa Zimian with a score of 79.95. Nessa's D spins were awesome, a surely good show, I say. Troy Tully came second on day two with a score of 80.65 and lastly, third with a score of 82.26. Can you guess? It's Rowan Chapman Davies. And an honourable mention to another one of our favourite Aussies, James Matheson. He got in super finals both days, an awesome effort indeed. Day 3 jewels. Casey Andringer and Elizabeth O'Connell were the dual winners for day 3. Casey versus Emerson Smith, past podium holder. Well, Emerson lost and took the second. Joel Hendrick ended up third against Hunter Bailey. Neck and neck it was. Should have been there. 
Now picture this, Jakuminol versus Elizabeth. Chikara ended up second. We figured that Chikara could start up a plate collection pool the trophy she got anyways. Caitlin Harrell came in third against Alex Jensen who came fourth. Is that even a question? Do I have an eye on any American birds? Keep my class close. Should be good. I'll see you later tonight. There were a lot of highlights at this event. Some notables were Kelly Lawson qualifying in first, only to give herself a black eye, and then crash in the finals. Bruce Perry was the first male down the course and managed to land a front flip halfway through the middle section for some spontaneity points, but didn't quite finish it off. And then of course, every time Joey Disco hit the bottom air, he purchased the grab like an underage and a fake ID would purchase drinks at natural disco with authority. Overall, the event was a huge success with ups and downs, and as good as it was, is as bad as it wasn't. Uh, your selection's pretty good. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful day out here. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, everyone shredding, of course it's fun. We're all here for the good time. It's been good weather the whole time? No, it sucked. Uh, weather got pretty flat yesterday. It's good for girls though. The girls had nice and sunny and it came in for the boys. But um it doesn't uh, change the skiing, you know. Unless you're rolling shot in Davies, fair weather scale. How did it dude, how do you describe the weather? What the hell? <laughs> what kind of questions that? Well, this, you know what? The weather's cold. It's winter, it's cold. It's cold, I hate the cold.